Chris, do you remember the best uh, trader that we had in uh, field trade? In my opinion, I'm sure he's still there. Is uh, Mario? Mario was yep. fabulous. Am I allowed to talk? I don't even know. I unmuted myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Chris, you can oh, talk. Okay, I don't know the rules. Um, Mario is not there anymore, actually. Really? Yeah, a little bit of drama behind that. Remember Ray, UK Ray? Yeah, UK Ray. Yeah, yeah, he told me uh, Mario got booted from what? the group. Yeah, yeah. He he was kind of clashing with Tony oh, in the wow. future room. Uh, I wasn't there. I took off a whole year. Mm -hmm. I went back. I was there. I just, my membership subscription just got uh, ended yesterday, but I took off a year. I guess it was around 21. And uh, yeah, Ray told me Mario Mario was asked to leave. Wow. Because his, his advice versus Tony's advice wasn't, wasn't, uh, wasn't going over so well. I think Tony wasn't, wasn't digging that too much. Well, I love Tony and I love Mario and they were, you know, I thought they were good together, but, uh, wow. yeah, yeah. I mean, they were, uh, I remember Mario was in, uh, had some surgery or something. He was out and everybody, you know, Tony was trying to get in touch with them and everything. And then, um, Jeez. wow. That, but uh, you remember, I mean, it was nothing for Mario to make $3,000 in a day, you know? And a lot of well, people said, well, yeah, do you know if he really I mean, did it or right. something? But I, I think he did. It, it's funny because when I first started at, at Theo back in like summer of 19, everybody was talking about, uh, long, you know, they'd be putting in like L88, S33. And so I'm like, what the hell are these guys talking about? You know, mm -hmm. and that was before the futures room. And so then they, they spun off the futures room and uh, I was in that for a little bit, but I, I never really believed in Tony's system. So, uh, you know, I, I just kind of, I, Bailed out of that, and then I and then I went back uh, for the Ultima trading, which I think your your system is is very, kind of similar mm -hmm. with the micro ES, right? Mm -hmm. and, and doing that and uh, did that, and then uh, I I just I just left yesterday. I decided not to renew. I just I I, I think I need something a little more um, I don't know consistent or structured is the word, but you know they're kind they're kind of like all over the place. Everybody. Everybody's got their own, you know, whether it's um, Matt or Tony or, or, or Corey or whoever, they got their own thing going on, which I never really got. There was no structure for it for me. So, well, I think what you'll like here is we have developed a little system that's based on the metrics. So we uh, we we do we monitor theta, delta and bind power. And basically, we make our decisions based on those three metrics. And I think everybody would tell you, Chris, from what we do, you can really kind of do this in about, you know, 10 or 15 minutes a day and then go about your life, you know, and just do whatever you want to. So I think you'll enjoy it. So uh, I, love really it. Good, I love hearing yeah, it. Really, I like I like hearing about the Delta and the Theta and because it's to me, it's more of a statistical approach, right? Yeah, more yeah. a mathy type approach, which I, which I like. So I'll try to keep it in mind, Chris. And if you have any questions today, let us know. And I'll try to keep it in mind as, hey, I'm fresh here. What are you doing? Okay, I'll, I'll try to go at it from that. Uh, Thanks, Bobby. Yeah, perspective. But good to have you, Chris. Good to have you. All right, so what we do is, first of all, we, we give a little market opinion, right? We look at the charts, and the market's down 0.35% today. And you may recognize this. This is Tony's chart. Other than I don't have the NASDAQ on it. I've got the E-minis on twice. And I've added some things that I like on here as well. But we do have VWAP, like Tony has. Uh, we use the AD, kind of look at that. But we don't use it. I just look at it. So VIX is up today. So that's hurting our little short premium positions. Uh, AD, negative 243. It was 267. But we're at that. We're still inside the opening 15-minute range. So even though we've got a little bit of movement to the downside, we don't have anything. Now, this movement to the downside will probably hurt our positions a little bit uh, for the daily net lick, but the positions are perfectly safe. So there's, and look at this, y'all, volume is nothing and continues to decline. Isn't that amazing? Volume's going down. Now, is Blake still over at uh, Theo Trade? Because we do draw his big green monster. And, he is. Yep. Yeah, I get it. I, so I love Blake. So let's just. I love Blake. I never understood his system, though. I, I just could never quite grok it. I thought there was something to it. But I, but I, I, I never like his session. I could, 
I never caught all of it, and so I never quite grokked it completely, but it seemed to be something there, but, yeah. So what we do is I draw his little, um, his little, we call it Big Green Monster over here. I've kind of named what he does, and so we draw it for on the first day of the month. So we'll go to the low to the high, and then we'll go uh, edit properties, and I'll just do this quickly. I've got a whole class on this in our little session. So the high is 46 Make sure I'm on the thing. High is 4634. 463450. 46,3450. And don't let this deter you because this is the hardest thing we do is me drawing this. And no one's got to draw it because I share this with y'all. So every day. So no one's got to have it. And the low is 44,11.25. 44,11.25. And since I only draw it once a month, a lot of times I'm a little rusty on it too so we'll see how it is all right so then we um start from the we've got to change our little tool here we start from the 50 and we draw to the middle of this get in the middle bob middle of that and then up to the zero line close i'm trying to get as close as i can gosh Close enough. All right. So then what we do is we've got to get our hand and we'll take the zero line up to the 200. I said we'll take, oh, I got to edit it. Don't I? Edit. No, 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 no. Activate. See, I told you I'm a little. There we go. So then we take the zero line and we move it up to the 200 line. And Chris probably watching this go, uh, Bobby, that's not how he does it. And I'll be like, yeah, well, it works really. So. so here we go. We pull this over to the start of that little red line there. Lay it right there. And there. Don't but, worry, Bobby. I always forgot how to do this too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure if uh, if uh, Blake would ever look at this, he'd go, uh, dude, you have destroyed my creation. And that's fine. Too. So it, but it works the way we do it. It, it. it really does. It's amazing, actually. All right. So we'll call this July for aug and we'll make it all green select color for all curves and we'll call it big green monster okay so now let's go back to our volume profile so we can see what our market opinion is and remember we've been overbought and let's see if we're fairly priced or overbought now aha so as i had thought we are now ladies and gentlemen we are oh we're uh fairly priced between those levels here's our 50 percent line so we're fairly priced we're at the point of control so uh we might see a movement down here to fill some of these gaps in the volume profile but uh yeah uh i would think that our target eventually if we keep going up is a 46.35 so not a lot to see here let's look at the um Let's look at the linear regression channel. We're definitely in a bull market. We are looking to see if our little mid band here will serve as a little bit of support. It will until it doesn't. And we continue to go up and we need these pullbacks. We need ups and downs and ups and downs. We do not want to see this here. We want to see us leveling off a little bit because this it's where you get into that, you know, I think extreme tail risk when you have these really big ups. So we want ups and downs and ups and downs. So we've got everything doing good. Now, Chris, here's what you're going to love, right? You're going to love this. This is our risk profile in our Tasty account. We have no risk to the upside. We make full profit to the upside. And at a two standard deviation move to the downside, we even make more money. Now, this, of course, is at expiration, I guess. But if it comes down there today, we'll probably lose money. But at the same time, uh, you got this nice profit hump to the downside uh, with a 99% probability of profit. So that's what we do. We sell premium with the odds in our favor. We let theta decay. We manage chaos and we rinse and repeat. Those are our five steps. Okay. So with Love that it. in mind, yeah, it is cool, right? I mean, it's just kind of simple. Uh, so let's see how our Tasty Trade account is doing today, um, the year of our Lord, 8-1-23. And I would imagine we're down a little bit. Let's see. Go back to that. And we are at 39788. 39788. Where's my stuff at? 39788. Yeah, we're down a little bit. 39788. We expect that. 
So this accounts up 5.59%. So yesterday we were at 39,832. So let's go put this in our realized return, 39,832. Oh, heck, I got the wrong account here. That was, I got to update all these numbers. I was going to see how we were doing, but that would be, this is, a, I got to, I got to update all these numbers for this account, but we'll show the one account where we'll, we'll show how we're doing. All right. So um, then we got our net lick in. So here's what you do. You put your net lick in the spreadsheet. It'll tell you how you're doing for the year. And then we go to our Greeks and ratios tab and we got to pull those. So let's get our Greeks and ratios in this account. Remember, Delta. Theta buying power. So 126.88, 126.88, eighty-eight. Now don't do what I'm doing. I'm trying to push this one to 50% uh, buying power. That's not how most of our accounts work, but in this one, that's what we're trying to do. And our buying power is 16.528. 16528. So we are at 41 percent, 41%. So everything looks good. I'm trying to push this up to 50 percent. Uh, probably a great day to put on a trade uh, on a day when the market is down 0.3 percent, especially. But really, this is what makes our decisions. And I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put on a trade. And the reason is I'm really kind of I've doubled what my theta should be. It says my theta should max under this environment of VIX should be at 0.1, and I'm pushing this account a little bit more. So as long as I've got double what it says, I think I'm fine here. So I don't think there's anything to do here. I'm not going to put a trade on. All right, so let's go to the IRA account. And this is the one where I do it by the book, right? This is the one that we do it just like it says. So here we're at 88,246, 88,246. Hey guys, y'all be quiet. Daddy's in a session. 88, 246, 81. Okay, so we're up 42, 88 on the year. Our Greeks and ratios for this one is 136, 83. 136, 83. Aha, look at this. Now, this is interesting. This one's showing that I'm a little bit to the loan side, right? It's saying, hey, Bobby, ideally, you should cut your deltas by four, but that's close. That's close. And VIX is 14. And our buying power usage is 22,240. 22,240. That went up a little bit. 240. So we're at 25%. Yeah, so in this account, this is red, this is red. I would not put on another trade. Now, here's the problem with this account. The last two times that I've tried to put on my put debit spread, it wouldn't let me. Let's see if it did let me yesterday. Let's see, trade history. I sold one. Nope, see, it didn't let me do my put debit spread there. Uh, didn't let me do my put debit spread there. So I need a couple of put debit spreads in here. now. Tomorrow, during our session at noon, a representative from Thinkorswim is going to be with us, and he's going to be with us for 45 minutes to take all of our questions about this. If you got questions about the Analyze tab or, hey, how do we set this up, he's going to be here to kind of walk us through some cool stuff with the uh, Thinkorswim platform. So that'll be kind of good. And he knows y'all all are going to be here. I said, hey, I got a whole group of folks that come in. They, yeah, that's fine. So uh, we'll have that during our Zoom. So I need to put on, and I told him the problem we had that some of my put debit spreads were not filling. And he's like, I'll look into it. So we'll see. So where were we putting these things? Uh, I guess in the, was it the 45 day? Yeah, the 45 day was where we tried to do it. So let's do a couple of put debit spreads since we haven't done them the last couple of days. And I normally go to the 9% probability of being in the money. Let's see if we can get filled today. So that would be the 4280. So we'll buy that one and we'll go down to the 3980, 300 down. Give us a little bit of a hedge. 3980. All right, for 825. Now, surely this is going to fill today, y'all. 850. Let's do two of them. If we get filled, come on, baby. Fill me. 
Now, if this thing doesn't fill today, we know there's a problem because I can get filled on these in tasty trade. So let's go back to our trade here. Let's bump it up. Let's go all the way to nine dollars. See if it'll fill me there. Nine dollars. Come on. There we go. So we are in, baby. All right, good. And everybody sees why I did that. Now, what that should have done, market smooth, but that should have lowered my delta and it should have probably lowered my theta a little bit. So 132.80 and it lowered my buying power. So now let's put them in 132.80 and you don't have to do it in twice. 132.80. Yep. So we reduced that. What's that? 132. Look at that. Turns it green. Look at that. Isn't that great? And we reduced our theta a little bit, but that's okay. And then our buying power went down to, that's how you make an account adjustment, 21.510. 21.510. Beautiful. There we go. Now I'm all green again. That's how you do it. That's how you run a portfolio. I'm going to do the one other account during our session today. I won't do the Roth IRA today. But let's do this one. Because this is one I want to show y'all. This is one we're up 12.36% on the year. This is one I don't have any trouble keeping uh, theta in. 8123 will be down a little bit today. Let's see what we are in the Crimson account. And are my kids too loud, y'all? They're driving me nuts. Hey, 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 daddy's in a session. 33357. 33, down just a bit on the day. All right, let's do our Greeks and ratios. And Chris, this will be like second nature to you. I mean, we do it every day. Same thing over 103.69. 103.69. I want to thank everybody that has bought my children's book so far. Candy bought one. Uh, let's see. Uh, Rick bought one. And I had my first sale from Massachusetts. How about that? So we're only doing pre-orders now. I got to still get them printed, which is uh, another deal I'm working with. All right. So um, our buying power usage is 13980 And we need to go see if there's any trades that we should close. Aha. It's giving me a close signal. Now, Chris, here's how it knows to close it. If I put a trade on with 91 days, it's going to tell me to close that at like 45 or 46 days. So now that I've got 45 days left in the trade, it's saying, hey, Bob, take it all. Take your little profits. So let's do that. Let's take off the 4,000 puts with 45 days to go. Let's see. 4,000 with 45 days to go. Where are they? Let's see. Oh, and it's T-Bill Tuesday, y'all. T-Bill Tuesday. Here we go. 4,000. 4,000 with 45 days to go. That's the thing. Well, there's some too. I got 4,000 with something to go. 4,000 with something to go. 45, 45. Okay. Let's see which one of those actually is the one I put on. Let's see these. I sold for 22, 25. I'll take those specific ones off. I don't guess it matters. 2225 was this one, right? Yeah, trade price 2225. So let's take those off the four thousands. Right click, create closing order, buy them back for six and a quarter. We're going to try six because we are greedy. Aha, greed turned out to be a good thing. So let's put those in there for six dollars. Closing price six dollars, and we exit it on eight one twenty. Three. So you and I made 71% on that. We made $156.62. Yes. Good, 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 good. Now, do I want to push it any and put anything on? Let's say 41%. No, nope, I'm kind of getting my little internal thing is, yeah, I want to push this up to 50. I'm at 42%, but I'm kind of like, I, I want twice the amount of max theta that I would ordinarily have in a conservative account. So I've got 0.21, so I'm good there. So let's see how this account is done. So in this account, okay, where's my thing here? We're up 12, or no, now we're at 11.74. So yesterday we closed at 33,530. So let's put that in, 33,530. 
33 by 30. So we lost 3,000 something. No, we didn't lose that. Remember, we took out $4,000. Remember, because I had to like get money out to print my book and stuff. So you and I made $1,437 in the month of profit. And if you divide that by the 30, our beginning, uh, we were up 4.48%. Let me double check that. So actually the number should be 1437, 7.52 divided by 32092. I'm not sure it's right. Bye bye. 32092.48. So we were up 4.48% and the spreadsheet works. Now, y'all, that's our greatest month of the year. Now, let's talk about why it's our greatest month of the year because I've been pushing it. That's the reason. I would love to get 2% a, year, a month. Right, so we didn't do it there. We didn't do it there. We did. We had a rough little month in March. We did it there. We did it there. So one, two, three, four months we've done it. But we've got enough here to say, you know, if you put that half of that here, we've done it for five months. So, y'all, we are on track for a really, really, really good year, especially if we can do a few more of these 4% months. Um, yeah, we're going to be just fine for the rest of the year. All right, uh, let's see. Are the other books on your website for sale? Uh, there's no other books yet. Uh, the uh, um, I just got the one book. I am writing a second book, and it is called The Graduate Millionaire for Teenagers. And I'm doing it in a novel form, and then I'm going to put it in a graphic novel as well so that it'll be like a comic book so that your teenagers and your college-age kids can, you know, uh, about money. But uh, this one is, is is for ages four through eight. But if you have kids or grandkids younger than four, they'll love the pictures, y'all. Let me show you the pictures. I mean, let me show you. The, I mean, there's the, the there's our character. This is based on my daughter Lily. She got her little blue eyes. That's Blossom Possum. This is my son Jojo. He's a sloth. And everybody, he got to choose his animal. Lily didn't get to choose her animal. I wanted something that rhymed, and I come up with Possum. So Jojo is a sloth, and my little redheaded girl is a red red panda isn't that cool yeah. if there's anyone on this call using the interactive brokers tws platform and has figured out how to enable grades for an options portfolio could they reach out to discord to jl trad many thanks and that person would be um you need to find eliza liza will help you with is eliza here today i don't see her today but uh, I think who else here today? All right, so Chris, Bobby, when you're selling these naked MES, do you always close at 45 DTE so you don't buy back at 50%? Yeah, I don't do the 50%. And we sell them at an expiration that we can get $20 for the nine Delta option. So I'm going out now about 80 days to sell it. And then I'll close it. If I sold something today for $80, I would close it at 40 days to expiration. If I sold it at 80, I'll close it at 4. So we hold it 50% of the time. Yeah. Yeah, good, Chris. And you'll be, you'll be, you'll be an old fart with the rest of us for long. You'll you'll definitely get it. All right. So if you want the spreadsheet. Uh, become a ninja nerd or muscadine mafia or a hello ladies person. Hello ladies. And we have the uh, uh, spreadsheet in those three rooms so that you can get that. And then it's yours. Do with it as you want to. Play with it. You know, it's a pretty good spreadsheet. It's not perfect, but uh, it uh, certainly does what we do. So up 4% for the month of July. Let's have a good August, y'all, and I will see everybody tomorrow.